The Acolyte, the celebrated Disney Plus show that everyone loved from top to bottom, has unfortunately, criminally, unjustifiably been cancelled. The Crapolite had a strong start with 4.8 million viewers tuning in to see just what Disney was cooking up in the kitchen. Globally, that number hit 11.3 million viewers. But unfortunately, that number would dwindle by the time the season finale rolled around. Really, the, the series finale at this point. And so it is, with a heavy shart, I tell you today that the Crapolite will no longer return for another season. <laughs> I think the saddest part in all of this is I probably will never be able to say the power of one, the power of two, the power of many ever again. They didn't even get to the power of two. It was canceled after one season. Eight episodes. So pathetic. I covered the first season of The Acolyte, went episode to episode breaking down what happened, much like I did for The Mandalorian last season, which was dreadful. Not as bad as The Acolyte, but it was, it was, it was pretty bad. But Disney's all about the money. Had The Acolyte continued to get viewership throughout the season, we would absolutely see another season. The Mandalorian is getting a movie because of this, even though the show sucks now. But I'm sad about the Crapolite not continuing. Not because it was a good show, it was a terrible show, but because it really helped my channel growth. Every time I put out one of these videos, I would see a bunch of new subs come in and I appreciated that. Even though it was forcing me, Star Wars pun, to have to watch this terrible show. So I think it's only fair that we serenaded a little bit with a song by Nickelback. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. <laughs> How am I going to get subscribers like I did again? It's only a matter of time before Disney tries their hand at another Star Wars show. In fact, they have several in the works, and that's really what I want to get to today. Has Disney learned its lesson? Are they listening to the fans out there? The middle-aged crybabies like myself that didn't want the crap light. And this isn't only a Disney problem with Star Wars, it's a Star Wars problem with Star Wars. Because we had this disconnect between different trilogies, the first one, very much a serialized, pulpy, fun sci-fi adventure with a ragtag crew, cracking jokes, getting out of bad situations, it gets serious at times, it definitely upped the ante with Empire Strikes Back, then it kind of dipped backwards into the dumb, silly crap with The Return of the Jedi. But overall, the trilogy was fun, it was engaging, it had iconic characters, memorable moments. There's a reason it's one of the most memorable special trilogies of all time. A lot of years passed in between and we get the prequels which go a completely different direction with the same director. Lucas wanted to really dig into the Jedi, the lore, everything about these characters, the Sith, a lot of talking about spice trading and shit, but it also had the kitty nonsense in it with Jar Jar Binks and Jake Lloyd pod racing into our hearts or something. But then again, it gets really dark by the third film. So two different trilogies, two very different tones all around. And then you have the new Ray trilogy, which tried to emulate what came before, succeeded at first, fell on its face when it had to come up with some original stuff on its own. And ever since then, Disney has had such a hard time trying to figure out where Star Wars should land. And instead of taking chances with new things, it continuously goes back to the same old crap we've seen a million times. Even in The Mandalorian, we have references nonstop. We bring in Boba Fett for some reason. There's prequel crap thrown in from the animated shows like The Clone Wars. The Acolyte seemed like a first real attempt to try something new. Not really married to anything that came before it since this is set a thousand or so years prior to the prequel films. Naturally, by the time episode 8 comes around, we're going to get a cameo from Yoda and, and it's going to end that way for some reason because they just cannot resist going back to the nostalgia well. Alien Romulus is in theaters as of filming this. I said this in my video and I'll, I'll reiterate it again. I don't give a crap if you want to do the nostalgia bait, if you want to reset the timeline, get things back on track like Alien Romulus did, like Jurassic World did, The Force Awakens, even the recent Twisters. They all have a very similar 
feel to the first films in their respected franchises. It's after that when I get really annoyed. If you can't do anything new or fresh, don't bother at all. If Alien Romulus 2 comes out, or whatever they're gonna call it, and they just do aliens again, and there's more catchphrases taken from those franchises, yeah, I will roll my eyes and say, no, we're done. This whole thing is so freaking stupid now. Walk away, shut it off. But looking at the Acolyte, I don't actually know who the hell this show was for. Because it had this Mary-Kate and Ashley flashback shit with the little girls running around. But then it would go to like sexual tension, naked Sith guy swimming around in the ocean. W what? It was just a complete mess, and I don't know who the demographic for this was. The only shows coming back that I know of are Andor Season 2, which a lot of people really enjoyed. I honestly couldn't get through it. It was just a little too slow and boring for my taste. Maybe I'll go back to it, because it does seem at least competently made, clearly going after an older audience, not having all that kiddie garbage. It has a tone, and it's following through with it, which is great. And then Ahsoka, another show I didn't bother watching, but I heard good things about that one as well, based on a popular character from, again, the animated show. These shows make sense because they have audiences. Rogue One was a pretty solid Star Wars flick. I enjoy that one quite a bit. So you bring in the adult audience. Ahsoka, again, popular character. You have a younger audience, plus you get adults that grew up with the show. Easy wins there. It makes sense. The Acolyte has no place anywhere. It was poorly written. Like, I, I can't stress enough how stupid this show was. The acting wasn't great. Most of the characters were one-dimensional and lame. And the Jedi here are so unimpressively incompetent, I couldn't wait for most of them to be killed. It sounds like the head of Star Wars right now, Kathleen Kennedy, super beloved by the community all around. <laughs> She's she's on her way out. She wants to do one big last hurrah in Star Wars, which is probably going to be the, the Ray thing that's coming out, that one movie. I don't know. I think a lot of damage has been done. Star Wars is still obviously super popular, but my kids don't care about it, really. They're not excited about anything, and that's how you know they screwed up. Disney should have all these kids excited and enthralled and captured like we were growing up with Star Wars. But it was so much so fast. Several movies, several TV shows, animated shows, all across the board, oversaturation. They need to calm down, come up with a game plan, make something that reaches a broad demographic, has that perfect tone that I do think Force Awakens had. They nailed it visually, with the characters, with the settings. It's just, it was a retread. And at the end of the day, it's not looked back on that fondly because The Last Jedi follows it. And then it all falls apart with that final installment. But yes, we need to pour one out for the Crapolite. It's over, which, you know, it's kind of bittersweet because even though it was a terrible show, uh, I, again, I, I really, I really appreciated all the viewers it brought in for the channel. <laughs> so, so it'll be missed, but rest assured. Disney will be back with something else, I'm sure, in the future to annoy me just as much. All right, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours. Are you sad by this news? Were you actually on board with this show and you were kind of fascinated by some of the questions it posed? Or are you like me and you thought, yeah, no, this is this was bad. This was bad across the board. Try Do better, Disney. Don't make these cheap cosplay knockoffs of Star Wars, a, a massive billion-dollar franchise. Let me know in the comments. Please like the video and subscribe. I post movie content, sometimes TV content like this one, every single week on the channel. Would love to have you stick around. If you like hearing me rant, I have a second channel, Adam Does Rants, where I do just that, and only that, about first world problems, like people watching TikTok videos in public at max volume on their phone. Why? <laughs> we have headphones. We've had them for a long time. Things like that. Really, really serious stuff going on over there. I would love to see you there as well. And if you love what I'm doing, maybe think about supporting the channel. I'm a one-man operation at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. I would appreciate it. Take care.